What is up guys? It is Matt here from Game Life Reviews here to talk about the one and only The Last of Us 2. Guys, I'm going to be a little more somber and more serious for this review because I know guys, this is probably the most controversial game of this generation. I realize that, so I know a lot of people are going to be upset. They don't like this game. It's very controversial, but please don't give me a thumbs down. I'm not the one who made this game. This is just my simple opinion of this game. So I want to get all the groundwork out of the way and talk about, you know, why people don't like this game. I get it. I understand it. Uh, it does kind of upset me on a personal level. But I understand, guys, that this is a Naughty Dog game that they made. You know, they put their time and energy into this game and this story and it's their project. I understand if you have a problem with the story. I get it. I really do, guys. Uh, but it's their game. They, they made this game. They chose which way for the story to go. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, just play the game. You'll, you'll form your own opinion on the story. So I respect Naughty Dog for what they've done. I don't, I'm not saying I agree with that. I don't. Uh, I would have taken the story a different way. But it is a powerful move, I guess. It's Naughty Dog making a statement. So it is what it is, guys. That's, it's their game. They made this, it's out, it's already done. So let's let's talk about the actual game now. You know, that's just all the controversy. I want to get out of the way. So this is the uh, Naughty Dog game. It's the sequel, uh, probably six years in the making or so from the first Last of Us game. And you're following Ellie. It's been about four years and she's grown up quite a bit. You know, she kind of has a new uh, partner. <laughs> And they go on these these journeys to find you know different zombies and see if they can gather materials and stuff every day. So to take care of this, the town they're in now, and things go bad pretty quickly. They start to discover the bad guys are right near where they're at, and they end up teaming up with uh, various members of the team. I'm being very careful not to spoil this game, guys, because things get bad very quickly in the story. And then it just, the game continually goes on and time passes, you know, years pass, and things kind of go worse and worse. And the story is pretty gripping, guys. It's pretty intense. Ellie is not... Things aren't going well for her, let's say that. So you see this story of a character that goes from dark and angry to even worse than that, really. Just furious rage. And this is definitely a revenge story. It's all about getting back at the bad guy. You're constantly chasing this, uh, this villain. And you actually play as this villain at times. And this shouldn't be a spoiler. You've probably seen it by now. That you play as this woman called Abby. And some people don't like that. They don't like seeing that perspective. But I do think it's it's interesting to see the perspective of the bad guy. And maybe why they're not so crazy, you know. You you see their, their angle of things. And some of those scenes are actually really intense like anytime you're running from the zombies or clickers it's intense guys it's definitely the highlights of the game at any point it's very exciting so the actual gameplay is very much like the original you're sneaking around a lot whenever you're dealing with zombies you want to take them out stealthily you know clickers they react to your sound so you want to move very quietly and gently and try to go for the throat and then you also fight humans, which now are 
way more intense guys they're after you in so many different ways they have dogs now they have they're very more alert to your sound so if you take out one the others will ruthlessly try to kill you so be prepared the combat is fun though you get a lot more tools in this game a lot more upgrades to your abilities you can choose how to upgrade Ellie and enhance your weapons in various ways so I, I approve of the combat the, the gameplay feels tight it feels well made you feel faster than Joel did you can jump now <laughs> yeah what a revolution so the gameplay just feels tweaked and improved from the first game so this isn't a revolution in any way but very tight gameplay but all the details I'm very impressed with all the graphical details like every little um, chord of the guitar that you play is so detailed it's amazing so the graphics let, let me give a shout out to the graphics this might be one of the best PS4 games I've seen visually one of the best looking it's definitely trying to beat out Red Dead Redemption 2 you can tell like you're riding a horse also it's <laughs> trying to compete with that bad boy and yeah they get a lot of details right um, the sound design is top-notch you know they really focus on the ambience of the game when you're surrounded by clickers and stuff you hear all the little clicks and it becomes a little scary and spooky so graphics and sound and all that is well crafted well made so naughty dog definitely spent time to make this game very polished and you can tell so guys ultimately this game does deliver i think say what you will about the story let's just ignore that part but the gameplay does deliver it's a very long and well-made game so i just want to give my final score and just let that be done i think this is a really strong naughty dog game that shows all their years of experience in making games and kind of culminates what they can do for ps4 so i give this game a 9.5 out of 10 it is a strong game so that's all i have to say about it it might not be my game of the year we'll see but this is a very well done game guys be sure to like this video subscribe if you do enjoy the video if not you know oh well and be sure to stay tuned for the next game life reviews review take care guys god bless